This is a demonstration of a simple electric motor. An electric motor is a device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. In this experiment, electrical current is passing through a copper coil, causing it to become a temporary electric magnet. Michael Faraday, a scientist, has discovered that when electric current passes through a conductor, it creates a magnetic field around it. In our experiment, the coil is converted into a temporary electric magnet, which interferes with the permanent magnet that is placed underneath the coil, hence causing the rotation. As per Fleming's left-hand rule, the coil will experience either a clockwise or anti-clockwise force depending on the direction of the current in the coil and the magnetic field. This experiment consists of five major parts, which include the battery, connectors, two copper chairs, which are held down by two screws attached to a wooden block, a permanent magnet attached to the wooden block, and a copper coil. A simplified version would be to take a big battery, attach two safety pins on each side using tape, and put a permanent magnet on the battery, and then you can stick the coil in here and give it a little push. Um, for the coil formation, you can use an insulated flexible copper wire like this which you can either get at Home Depot or online. You can take some of the copper wire and wrap it around some circular object. Here I'm using a battery and make sure you leave some wire off before you begin and give it a good of 10 to 15 turns Leave some wire off at the end so that you can use it for the later part of the experiment. So this is the coil that I've formed. You must make sure that the coil is well balanced such as the ends are in a straight line and they pass through the center of the copper coil. Um, on this coil I've removed the insulation on both ends but only on one side of the coil like so and on the other side I've kept the insulation intact. For the construction of the chair take hard copper wire and bend it into two right here and right here. The um, coil will rest right here and the bottom will be used to connect the connectors by the screw to the wooden block. The permanent magnet will also be attached to the wooden block using some tape and the polarity of the magnet does not matter. My science project was to measure the number of rotations made by the coil with the variable being the number of turns in each coil. Such as one right here, I only have one turn. Or um, one right here, I have three. I've labeled the number of turns. Um, I measured it with a tachometer. Um, this coil is made with 10 turns. And as I place it here, I can measure it with the tachometer. Like so. Um, 
Your science project may contain different variables, which could include the different amount of voltage or current. You can also change the number of magnets and measure the rotations. You can also change the shape of the coil and make it into a triangle or a square. I've made here a spherical shape coil, which Um, thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoy it.